Hey guys, Mackie here with Ironside Ranch and uh, today we're going to do some welding. I was going to do this as part of the farm vlog that we do next month. Uh, that we're trying to put out a farm vlog once a month, kind of just little general projects that are going around here. Uh, but today we're going to go ahead and do this just because it's rainy outside, I've got time to get it done, and so we're going to go ahead and tackle this job. Now, what we've got is we've got our pallet forks here that hook onto the front of our tractor. Okay. Now, these are a clip-on variety, and I don't know if you can see that, where they just slide onto the end of the bucket. We did not get the ones that replaced the bucket simply because the way that we use our tractor, these were a lot cheaper and a lot better option for us. The reason being is because for one, it's a John Deere 4200, so the lift capacity is somewhere around 1,000 pounds. These have a rating of 1,000 pounds, so these match up to the bucket that's already on there. So the only benefit that I gain is in being a little bit more capable of seeing the forks uh, by having one that, that swaps off. Um, the problem with it is those are roughly $800. This one was about $150 significant price difference and this one does everything that I need it to do and then I don't have to go through the hassle of changing up my bucket which is really not that big a deal but it does save a little bit of time. Uh, <clears throat> this is also a little bit easier to store. I can hang it on the wall on some hooks inside rather than uh, actually having to have a place taken, taking, taking up space on the outside uh, underneath whatever covered shelters I have for, for farm implements. Uh, <clears throat> now. This one here, um, like I said, we've been very, very happy with this one. This one does have the stabilizer bar in the middle, and I don't know if you can see that. I know it's kind of at a bad angle for you, uh, but I'll show you here in just a minute. This one's got a stabilizer bar that goes across between the two bars. A lot of them don't have that. Highly recommend getting it. Um, I can't imagine how much of a headache this would be to use without that. Now, one of the things on this one that we've got two adjusting screws that adjust this. Here, let me show you here so you can see. We've got two adjusting screws, one on each side, these right here, and what these do is they keep it from sliding in and out. Now you can see they don't really work with the crap, um, and we've actually bent this metal here um, and using these, um, and uh, it's, a, it's a sturdy metal, it's just a lot of force coming on the tractor when we use them. I um, mean that bent the metal there, and so they, they don't hold in that well, these things slide out and they go cock out all the time. The other one here, this one here, uh, this one well, I don't have probably any problems with, but the only thing that I keep coming to on this is it's kind of pointless. I don't adjust the length of this bar ever. This is perfect for moving pallets, it's perfect for moving logs, um, and so for what we're doing here and for what we use tractor forks for, there's not really any need to adjust it, and so um, I'd rather just have that a little bit more secure. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take out these screws here and uh, we're actually going to go ahead and just weld the crossbar to it um, and then that way that's no longer an issue um, and that just stays in there very secure um, and we don't have to worry about it sliding and jostling around. <clears throat> now, I'm not going to put a big continuous bead all the way around for a couple of reasons. One, that's going to affect the integrity of the, uh, 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 of the steel, the, the, the forks here, uh, simply because of heating up that metal. The other reason I'm not going to do that is because I want the ability to cut these welds and at one point in time and take that off. Should I ever decide that I want to, I, I need to make some type of adjustment to it, I want to have that capability of doing it. This cross member, I can't imagine why you'd ever need to adjust it. I haven't found a reason to, but I like having the capability of doing that in the future and not completely taking it off the table. Um, now, this, the uh, the, the member, that, the cross member that goes across, that goes uh, between them. Um, and where you have that adjustment screw on there. Again, I haven't had any problems with that one other than the metal has split. And so because of that metal splitting, we're going to go ahead and just weld everything together and get that tightened down. What we use them for around the farm is we use them, like I said, one, I love them for cutting timber. Uh, they're great for sticking under logs, lifting the log up off the ground and chopping it up. The other reason that I like to use them um, is I like to have everything on pallets as much as I can. Um, I like to put uh, my uh, waste oil on a pallet, so that way I can just slide the forks underneath it and move it into the track or move it into the trailer uh, when I go to dump it. I can um, I, I can use these for moving watering bins around, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So they're really useful for stuff like that.
anyways, that worked out pretty well. A um, couple of things with it is one, as you can tell, I'm not a I'm not a great welder. I don't weld for a living. I weld a couple times a year, so I know just enough to get two things to stick together. Um, and so, you know, I'm sure there's a bunch of welding scientists out there that can figure this stuff out a little bit better than I can. My little welder barely did this, so I was really struggling to get it to get it to get the welds to actually go deep and actually penetrate the metal. Um, except for on the on the cross member, that was that was shallow enough I could do it. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I hope they uh, I hope this video is somewhat helpful. I know this is kind of a farm vlog, so it's mostly just to show you guys what's going on here and uh, what projects we're going through. Here, let me cover up my license plate there, um, and uh, and to show you guys exactly what. Uh, what we've got going on here so you can see uh, we've got some other stuff we've got to get rid of that vehicle that vehicle is going to the dump um, we got some fence posts here and everything that we need to need to get set up um, and so that's our corner post and everything as we go around uh, this hillside here is going to be what we're getting the, uh, the the first pasture that we're getting converted um, and then we got our farm implements we got to get those in some type of shelter so we got a lot to get done here but uh, do appreciate y'all watching and sticking with the channel so make sure and like and subscribe if you haven't already done so please share the video guys it really does help us out thanks again for